enjoy being loved by the Lord? I was young, young. When I had the desire of reading. When I was 10 years old. When I was 5 years old. And then I, I was in grade 2. So I worked in an AR school. And I, I know it was God who brought me there. A priest told me, your vocation will grow here. My mother journeyed with me, but my father ignored. As years passed, I still had a desire to myself. I prayed to the Lord that I will be a man. When I heard that I passed the examination, na doon ko nakita na, oh, ito na talaga Lord, kasi ito na yung iniantay ko. Kakaiba kasi yung bigat ng desire ko na yung high school after my graduation. Naisip ko na very challenging is siya sa akin kasi since I, since I am the only child of my parents, nakita ko how much they loved me. Naramdaman ko na mahalin na iba din. Doon ko na value kung paan maglet ko. When I accompanied a classmate of mine, we went to the hospital which was just located nearby and uh, we were late. So when the sisters, they were friends of my mom, they were asking me, would you be a mass one day? I'm the only child, so it wasn't easy. I just pondered if the uh, calling is there, but I just keep it. It was difficult to say goodbye to the family, especially to my mom. In Mindanao, I went there. I learned so much from them. Because you know, they are warriors, many of them. But I was raised that I had that perseverance because of him. Uh, what I did to my father was that I asked permission from him. Hindi siya pumaya, but what I did is the parents con consent. I write it in an, in an English way so that he can understand. So I just asked him to sign it. When my father got sick, he was operated in his brain. That was the time that I am um, challenged to choose kung lalabas ako or magpapatuloy. My brothers were really uh, surprised when they learned that I was to enter the convent. They couldn't believe it and they were discouraging me, telling me that, oh my goodness, you would just end up as a maid, you'd be scrubbing the floor and all this stuff. And I said, I can do those. Why not? <laughs> I experienced the benevolence and generosity of the Lord through other people. In my first vocation, because that was the first commitment I had with the Lord. Before my profession, yun yung day na pinaka memorable ko na hindi ko talaga makalimutan kasi that was the time na my father gave me his blessing na pinayagin niya talaga ako magmadre. My professional boss. I can't imagine myself in front of the altar saying the profession of vows. Kasi parang sabi ko kailan lang Lord sabi ko na nagsimula tayo parang bata bata ako. But and then now sabi ko I am here. Um, parang ikinokumit ko yung sarili ko for you. In Africa, we volunteered actually for this mission. I survived for nine years. But when the, this war, civil war, broke out, our higher superiors wanted us to be repatriated. It was against my conscience. If it were Christ, would he leave his flock in that situation? Uh, it's this uh, will also that helped me persevere. The Congregation of the Augustinian Recollect Sisters look back to 1725 as the beginning of the story of our congregation.
our congregation will be celebrating the golden jubilee of this Decretum Laudis, whereby we are really thanking the Lord for the gift of a religious congregation in the Philippines. It's a joyful moment for me to remember 50 years. Imagine, in my 71 years in the congregation, including my formation, I'm already 69 years in my profession. So a formation included, it's already 71 years since I left home. And I find my life with God in the congregation. I enjoy and intensify my prayer life. It's the one I think which is holding me because I am already 92 years old. I am completed this November 20, 19, this year, 92 years old. So, I enjoy life. I find the value of my life as a religion. The sisters will be more prayerful, faithful to their calling, because re religious life for me is the valuable call. They are their God to each one of us. Of course, I say, married life is already calling, and you have the people who are married that's all already my prayer. My prayer that these people who are married must have to be faithful to each other, to the children, to the family. And this is always my prayer before the blessing sign. I do not go out, but I always talk to him about the families. Faith number one, I'm praying for the congregation to be faithful to God. Faithfulness. Because if I do believe that faithfulness is a great value for me, and this is what I am asking, asking the sister, whoever comes to me, to be faithful. Because in faithfulness, there is that love. And if there is love, there is God. Because God is love. 